I think the most immediate implications are that in individuals with that baseline thrombocytopenia, we know traditionally ruxolitinib has been given at a reduced dose uh, based on the degree of causing thrombocytopenia and some concerns regarding uh, safety, or at least a suboptimal benefit due to having to have uh, patients have a reduced dose. The ability to give full dose of fedratinib in that group of patients, you know, suggests that uh, that is certainly an option for consideration, certainly in the second line setting, but uh, based on the data, it certainly would be a reasonable consideration in the front line setting in someone that has baseline thrombocytopenia in that 50 to 100,000 range.